Another photo of a parent and child near the river that divides the United States and Mexico has sparked an outcry online and in halls of power. This isn't the tragic image of a father and daughter who drowned in the Rio Grande, but it shows a different side of a new reality taking shape south of the U.S.-Mexico border. As a mother and daughter bolt toward the Rio Grande, a man dressed in military fat fatigues follows closely. He reaches out and grabs the woman's backpack, yanking her away from the river she is stepping away from, from reaching. Another man wearing camouflage and holding a large gun blocks their path. The men in the photograph are members of Mexico's new National Guard, and the photo taken several days ago in Ciudad Juarez, Mexico, <clears throat> by photographer Erica Martinez for agents Francis Press circulated swiftly on social media after the news agency tweeted it. Nighttime news shows discussed it. Reporters grilled Mexico's president about it during his daily daily press briefing. The photo shows several migrants from Nicaragua who troops interfered Friday as they tried to cross the border. Martinez told CNN, one woman had been traveling with her husband and two daughters. They made it across the river. She didn't. Reactions to the photo are mixed. Martinez, who's been a journalist in Juarez for more than a decade, said the changing dynamic in the, in the border city is palpable with the recent surge in troops there. It's very different than what we're used to, she said, and very visible. Reactions to the photograph and what it represents have been mixed. There are many comments in favor of it as against it. Many critics weighed in with a common reaction. Mexico is becoming Trump's border wall. An editorial cartoonist drew his own version of the, of the photograph, replacing the troops' faces with those Mexican President Andres Manuel López Obrador and Mexican Foreign Minister Marcelo Ebrard in the background. The U.S. President watches, peering over a border wall. Here's the image right here. <sighs> That's just retarded. So they're making fun of our President now because um, he's trying to you know, help out with this migration problem, and back then they were saying that, like, oh, it's, it's, it's his fault, whatever, and, and, you know, now he's he's trying to do something. Later or not, I mean, he's helping out. Serious shit. It's crazy down there in the South, in the South Mexico border. Uh, these National Guards are, well, using force to prevent these people from coming. Mexican columnist Denise Dresser shared the photo, photo, photo and others in the series with a biting description, bidding description. Here the National Guard demonstrates its civil character, its respect for human rights, its training to conduct police work, and its plain conversion in border patrol now in the service of Donald Trump. Which is which is just it's just cynical. Like they all wanted the same thing to halt and pause well not pause but halt the constant flux of immigration of immigrants. And now they're just like, Oh no, look what they're doing. Oh my god, it pisses me off. This is the first time I've ever seen Mexican authorities detaining people who are leaving. It's dramatic that this is happening. During the Mexican President Morning News Briefing Tuesday, reporters peppered Lopez Obrador with questions about what the photo showed. Can the National Guard detain migrants so they don't cross into the United States? One journalist asked. Because you could even see that they were separating a family. It's very severe. I wanted to ask you to respond to those who say Mexico is building a wall with these 15,000 troops from the National Guard on the border. It's not like that, Lopez Obrador replied. It's more than anything regulating the entrance in the South. If these cases occurred, they were not instructed to do this. It's work that corresponds to immigration agents, not to the military. But it could have happened. And it did happen. But let me remind you that Mexico's um, immigration system... And UN, especially the the National Guard, sorry, the National Guard is uh, is sort of new on these immigration tactics because they never tried to ever stop them. You know what I mean? Until uh, basically now that they're really, really enforcing uh, tough immigration and not letting these illegals in. So Mexico is getting tougher on immigration. Debate over the photo comes weeks after Mexican officials agreed to step up immigration enforcement as the Trump administration threatened them with tariffs. An immigration crackdown has been increasingly visible on Mexico's southern border, on its northern border and between. It's this month the CNN team observed migrants begging for help inside a detention center in southern Mexico. Um, shall we play the video? Sure, let's, let's play the video. Let's play it. 
On Monday, Mexico's defense secretary announced that nearly 15,000 troops had been deployed to the U.S.-Mexico border, and authorities have said that deportations from Mexico are on the rise. So, see? I mean... <laughs> that U.N. That UN is, is, is doing the immigration job. At a Mexican migrant center near the border with Guatemala, frustration and desperation in full voice. Calm down, calm down. Desperate. Many of these migrants are, uh, uh, many of these women are telling us they're from Africa, many, many different countries in Africa, and came up to Mexico from Colombia. There are also Haitians here. They say that people are sick and they just want to get their pass be processed so they can get out of this facility. The vast majority of migrants entering Mexico are from Central America, particularly El Salvador, Honduras, and Guatemala. Holy crap! Migrants like these who come from Africa, headed, they hope, for the United States. Cameroon, they are Ghanaians, they are Nigerians, they are uh, Congo, Angolans, there are so many Africans, they are Bangladesh, they are Indians, there are so many people in there. This woman wouldn't give her name, but said she was from Cameroon, flew to Colombia with the help of traffickers, and trekked to Mexico, a journey that can take months. The women say they've been in detention for up to three weeks in what they claim are poor conditions. We have access to nothing, and they, they don't do nothing. They don't want us out. They just want us to stay here. We don't know why. We keep asking them, what's the procedure for us to leave this place? You keep, they don't tell us nothing. They don't care. That's Mexico. <laughs> that's Mexico. That's fucked up, but that's Mexico. Julio, no hay comida. The increasing presence of migrants from outside the region, Haiti, Cuba, even India, creates added pressures for Mexico's government, which in the next few days will send thousands Good job, of troops to its southern Good job. border to hold up its end of the bargain with the Trump administration to stem the migrants. I'm going to just let that play the whole thing. It will be a tough assignment for those not trained to deal with a humanitarian crisis Mexico says it simply cannot handle on its own. Michael Holmes, CNN, Tapachula, Mexico. Okay, so well, let me just pause this video real quick. This is going to probably repeat itself right now. So, yes, if this doesn't come out on American news outlets, it's probably because they're probably concealing the truth, honestly, because things are getting done. As you can see, the National Guard is not playing around. The INM is the one that needs to catch up. And start acting like the, the authority that it is with the immigrants. So military officers surrounded migrants protesting outside a shelter in Tapachula, Mexico on June 18th. So this was about a week ago, two, two week and a half ago. Immigrants rights advocates in Mexico have warned that the government's increased enforcement violates migrants' rights and contradicts Lopez Obrador's one-time campaign promise that he wouldn't do the United States dirty work. Lopez Obrador maintains that he has had no choice but to negotiate. We have to avoid a confrontation with the United States government, he said this week. We have to act with moderation. And honestly, let's just say the truth. What he's trying to say is that we need to be friends with the United States. Because who's going to give us more on the long run? The immigrants or the United States? It's, it's as simple as that. A lot of people don't... don't uh, capitalism, all this, it, it's made for the world to go round. I mean, these guys are coming illegally from other parts of the world... And they think that it's going to be um, like an easy trip, like in, in the beginning of the caravans where it was an easy trip. And people are still being lied to thinking that it's going to be the same. And it's not. Things are getting serious. Catch you guys later, guys. Ah, oh, fuck, man. Um, I, know, I know you guys probably seen this one, but I just, I just wanted to comment on it. You know what I mean? Like... This is the type of story that I don't even want to touch no more. Because it touches my heart. Like, it's really messed up, bro. Like, it makes me want to, like... It makes me want to tear up, you know what I mean? Because she was a two-year-old daughter, bro. She was two years old. Like, she didn't have nothing to do with crossing that border. All she wanted to do was play and have a family, be in a family, grow up. And because of this damn migration problem, kids are dying on the border. Like, I'm...
This shit really pisses me off, dude. Like, so many warnings. How dangerous it is to fucking come over here. Cross. Be whooped on by officials. Be malnutritioned. Uh, bath. All that. All that. Everything. Like, you're not guaranteed none of that. And they're still coming over here trying to go to the United States when the United States is getting very tough on immigrants. That's all I wanted to say, right? Sorry if I'm ruining your, uh, you know, your day or, or making you feel better or whatever. It's just, dude, it's not right that these people bring their kids and, you know, die with them trying to have a better life. Like, that's not fucking worth it. And I'm sorry for my language. I really am, but it's not worth it. Two years old. And this is not the only baby that has died. That's crazy as fuck. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.